Hello, good afternoon. I think that's coming in there. Um, yeah, good afternoon. It's Monday, so that means we are monthly making. Um, I've got a bit of a plan, but I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out, so you have to bear with me a little bit on that one. I just realised my camera's a little bit. That's a bit better, isn't it? So, there we go. So, oh, aeroplane time. Oh, hi, Vicky. Um, so yeah, that's the plan today. We're going to play with our monthly make. Um, I'm going to go for pretty and elegant and see how that works out. Hi, Tina. Hi, Christine. Ooh, hi, Alice. <laughs> My computer's just woke up. Hello. <laughs> to be fair, it is balancing at the moment. Hi, Leslie. I haven't quite tidied my desk off properly so my laptop's kind of doing this whole like balancing act over well I think it's got ink pads and stuff underneath it so this is going to be fun. Um, hi Maxine. So well I guess first thing thank you all for watching on Saturday Um it was a really busy show thank you so much Um we are working our best through the orders and hopefully we should have them out tomorrow at the latest. We're not going to make posts today there's no way we'll make posts today because it goes at silly time but we'll definitely make tomorrow um, so yeah all your lovely orders should be with you well should be out of our door tomorrow um, and then you should be able to get playing with them as soon as possible so, hi mum hi Suze um, so yeah it was a bit of a shocker on Saturday we weren't expecting to be as busy as we were and I have had I have had a few questions about embossing powders um, I have got a few sneaky ones I can pop on our website so I'll be doing that probably tonight or tomorrow morning because um, you have been asking about the honking embossing powders so I will get some of them on our website I've only got a couple because um, I'm not packing them again because they are very honky um, I'm sure there's a technical word for it but honky, honk works for me <laughs> so anyway today is monthly mate Monday so all I've done is I have got an A5 base card I've got some lovely brown. It's actually really thick. It's more like a board. Um, I didn't realise I had that in my stash. Oh, hey. Um, now I can see more of my paper stash. I'm, I'm finding more. So that is going to be my base. So I'm going to move that to one side. And I'm going to start off with my little um, A5 one here. So we're going delicate. I know this is going to be really hard for me. <laughs> really hard. I'll get there. I'm going to go for the um, the defined one, so the nice straight edge one to start with. And my plan is we're going to have a nice landscape card and I'm going to do something fancy going across the middle, just like that. Yep. Then we're going to do some lovely painting because I'm really into my painting this last week. I'm in the mood for painting. So I'm going to go with my brown first. So I have got my vintage sepia. Make sure my stamp's stuck down. Make sure this is the juicy one as well. Oh, it is. There we go. And I didn't realise how cold it got my poor little crafty shed. I came to um, jump in here a minute or two ago, well, half hour ago. I was like, whoa, it's cold. So I suddenly had to start, start the heating and everything. <laughs> In, in fact, yeah, you're right there, Susie. Delicate. I don't do delicate either, but I am trying today because there's been some lovely um, inspiration in our group um, for the monthly make. So I am, I'm being inspired to do delicate. So I'm just going to go in here. Now I'm going to come in quite close. I want a bit of a gap. There we go. Lining up's pretty good for me. Hi, Noala. All the way around. Do a bit of a wiggly one. So again, nicely line it up. And there we go. And then again, I'm just going to put another one on. I think, oh, do I, you can see that? I put a big. I don't even know how I've got a black inky pinky mark on there, but I've done it. I've already done it. <laughs> so 
so I'm going to come down here I think and then we'll go back up just to get a few more little hexagons on there Oops. oh I'm sorry Leslie <laughs> I am naughty, I know. We don't normally do shows that quickly together. Um, but yeah. Like I say, I just um, messed up on the dates. Hi, Sean. Now, my screen's gone off, but I think we're still live, so I'm going to keep going anyway. Um, so it just means I'm working a bit blind. So if you can't see something, give me a shout. I'll pop that one there. So we've got, I'm actually thinking now. I might do it that way, and then I can cover that little bit. No, that works actually. I'm going to leave it that way. I'm going to give that a quick wipe so it doesn't stick on my desk. Right, I am. I'm miffed. Really miffed. Never mind. It's that finger there as well. I can see. I can see it now. Anyway, I'm going to go in. Oh no, I'm going to do my painting first, and then I'll go back in with me, me stamp in a minute. So colour wise, I'm going to move that to one side and I'm just going to grab a bit of scraggy paper I've got sat lying around. I'm going to use my watercolours, my um, distress inks, because I've really got into my distress inks again this last couple of weeks. I think it's working on them gnomes. So I'm thinking... I've got my lovely dusty concord, I've got my shaded lilac, and I've got a little bit of a <laughs> um, little bit of wilted violet as well. So I think I'm gonna go on a bit of a purple. I wasn't going to, I was gonna go for browns because look, I've got my oranges out as well. But I think I'm gonna go for purple because they're shouting at me. Oh I'm sorry. I am I'm being really naughty, aren't I? We're not back on the chander for a while yet, I promise. I think it's the 18th of November we're back on. The uh, multi makes coming together very nice for November. Just saying. There we go. Right, so I popped a little bit of shaded lilac. All I'm doing is just testing the colours that I like. My colour palette. Ooh, that's alright. And I don't know how these are going to come across on screen because, like I say, I've lost my. Oh, I'll turn my mobile on. Yeah, sometimes I just don't think, do I? <laughs> Yeah, Jenny's had a bad case of the giggles. It was funny. We did, we did have fun. It was lovely working with Janice. I've not worked with her since um, January. I think them colours work well together, don't they? Oh, lovely. To be fair, I prefer those two. Right, I'm going to go with those three. So all I'm going to do, I'm, I'm keeping my colour palette. Oh, I left that one right in the middle of my table, aren't I? I'm guessing that was my water file, wasn't it? I'll pop another bit of that down. Up there, where we can work and see everything at the same time. So hopefully, let me just grab my phone and then I can see what we can see too. <laughs> well, there you go. Susie's saying the colours are all right, so I know I've chose good colours now. The colour monster agrees. So, it's where to put them though now. Where do we put them? I'm thinking I really like that, um, the darker one. There we go, I can see what I'm doing now. <laughs> can I can see what I'm doing now, yay! Right. So, I've got my magic colours off because I thought that could look quite nice. So I haven't left a good size of it. So that can go over that side. Anyway. Right. Which one should I start with first? Just, I'll start with my palest one because if I start with a different one, I can't add colour, can I? So I'm just going to come in really water. I could have chosen my brush but because my distress inks have been on my desk. And I know a lot of people have got distress inks in their cupboards that just sit there and not being used. Well, let's get them, let's get some use out of them. 
and pop a little bit more on my desk because that's been used up a lot quicker than I thought it was. There we go. So I'm just going in there with the dark bit around the edge. So I'm trying to keep delicate. <laughs> I know hard for me that. Clean off my brush. Now I think I'm going to go to Wilted Violet for this. Oh, look at that colour. Oh. do love Wilted Violet. It's such a um, striking colour. Whether you're using it in the oxide or your distress ink. So I'm going to pop that in that one, I think. And then we'll do the darker one. And then that one will be pale. So a bit more water because he's quite a striker, isn't he? on here. More water on there. <laughs> yeah, everybody's distress inks feel abandoned. I mine tend to stay out because I use them on my poly plates a lot. Because I love the effect you get with your poly plates and your distress inks. Um so mine don't get left in the cupboard. In fact, I have one desk here. Um, with my oxides on this way, and then that side has got all my distress inks. Now I have realised that most of my distress inks are the same colours. So I'm assuming last time we had them out at a workshop, I didn't put my workshop on separate. So I need to go through my workshop boxes. And make sure I've got one of each colour. Because it's no good having... I think I've got three peel paint on my desk. And now I do like peel paint, but I'm not going to use that much peel paint, am I, really? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, hi, Sandy. Hope you're feeling... Hope you're feeling better. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just popping a little bit of colour around here. Now I am actually, you know I said I wasn't too keen on that one to begin with, I'm now thinking I do like that one a little bit more. I'm just struggling with this. Um, this um, Dusty Concord, it's not quite as deep as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to let it dry because you can see I'm starting to chuff up my paper a little bit. I've got little bits just starting on my paper. Um, so I'm just going to leave it a minute or two and then I'll go back to it once it's starts to dry. But I'm going to go back to my wilty uh, no, shaded lilac. I'm just going to bring some more of that one on. Really gentle, really subtle, she says, and then she puts a big mark on it like that. Yeah, yeah them planes coming in today, can't you? Oh, the weather's changing. When we get a lot of planes in, the weather's going to change for the worse this way. I thought they were having a bit of a party up there, though, didn't I? So again, just bringing this one in. There we go. I'm quite liking that now. Oh, good to hear you're doing better, Sandy. You've only got six distress inks. You don't need many. I've used three there. You don't need many distress inks at all, as long as you've got a nice little range. You go a long way to your distress inks. Right. I should not have wiped them off my table because I probably wanted to do something else with them. A bigger brush might be a good idea. Mm, I like this brush, though. I have one brush that I like. I'm very choosy about brushes. <laughs> so I get stuck with one size and that's it so these are starting to look quite nice I am now starting to think mm, I might not leave it as simple as I thought I was going to leave it because my idea was I was going to do that and then just pop a little saying in it which would look quite nice I'm starting to think I want to just change it up a little bit so that would look nice there wouldn't it but I think I am going to actually 
stamp another hexagon. So I'm going to move that to one side, pop that there. Yeah, the bigger size of that one looks quite nice, doesn't it, Sue? Right, so I'm going to stamp another hexagon out there. It is hard keeping up with all the different releases they do of the inks and the oxides. Um, to be fair, I'd say go with the colours you like. And if you like them in one, you'll probably like them in the other. Because if you're anything like me, you have a set colour palette you tend to stick to. So I've got some colours I never ever use. I suppose I occasionally venture into them. But I do, I have a very set colour palette I stick to. I'm not very adventurous when it comes to colour. There you go, so I'm going to pop that on there and move that as I've, I've splodged it down so I'm going to have to do it again. Oh, nope. It didn't smudge as much as I thought it was. So, you know what I'm going to do with this one? I think we've got our, our purples, haven't we? I think... Should we go for a slightly different colour? How about... Do you think a wild honey or no let's stick with the colours we've already used oh, i'm getting too adventurous then wasn't i i think for this one i'm just looking at i'll bring it back in so you can see what i'm looking at i'm looking at i want to stick it here but i want it to jump out so i think i'm going to do it in that lovely shaded violet uh, lilac not violet lilac shaded lilac a little bit back on my desk. Okay, I'll try a different brush for you, a slightly larger one, shall I? <laughs> it's still a flat ended one, a chisel one. I think this one had different colours on it as well. I love this, it's looking kind of um, a grey colour as well. On this one. You'll notice I did my edges and then I'm just colouring in. And then where I want a bit more, it's just like on my nose. Where I want a bit more colour, I come back over. There we go, I'm quite happy with that. Really subtle though, really subtle. Right. pop that down there. I'm going to leave that one to dry because that is going to be my focus one. So I'm going to leave that at the back of my desk. I've told you all where it is now so if I lose it. <laughs> and then I'm going to start doing a little bit more work on here. So I want that lovely stitched effect one you get. There he is. I'm going to do it that way. in a really bad place. Just like that. Right. So now where's my brown ink gone again? Yeah, that's okay. And to be fair, that dusty concord's actually started to jump a bit now. So I'm quite happy with it. I'm going to come back in. We could have chosen any colour palette for these, couldn't we? Lovely blue one. And now... This is where it's easier if you're right on, if you're like over the top of it so you can see where you're splatting it in. Stamping it, not splatting it, you know what I mean. I'm not very technical today. There we go, now I'll pop this on in here. Over there, thereabouts. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> oh, it does, it does. I need it to be blue and yellow, don't we then? I just need to do a proper blue and yellow one. Be sorted. I am loving this one. I do like him. 
I do like this set. I know a lot of people when they first looked at it they went, oh it's a bit different. Um, but I've had, I've had some lovely comments over this month's monthly make. I think it's a nice little, well, it's not a little set is it? It's two sets and some extra bits but it all works really well together. Like that. remember which way I was holding it so I'll go for that way. Oh have a lovely afternoon Christine. So I'm just going to pop that in there. It just, it just straight away as soon as you put those little um, stitch lines in, in the middle of it it just changes the look of it doesn't it. So just give that a quick wipe cloth over there. I keep putting it on top of my anti-static pad and then wondering why my anti-static bag doesn't work anymore. Right, so there's that. Oh, I should have done the other one as well, shouldn't I? My brain's not thinking today, is it? That's going to go there. I'm just going to chop it down a little bit so we can ply at the same time. So I'm positioning things. That one's going to sit in here, I think. There we go. Does it need anything else? I keep seeing that. Oh. Um, I'm just going to put our stitching in first. Should have done that before I took this down. To be fair, this is coming together a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. One in here. Then I just want to add. I haven't wiped it that time. Should I have made today amazing in there? Make today amazing. Yeah. I think that'll work, won't it? And this one, I'm going to go for purple because we've worked with all our purples. I'm going to go purple for me saying as well. I hope it works. If it doesn't, I can always stamp another one, can't I? Thank you. This is a lovely one by itself, isn't it? I'm going to turn that around a little bit more. It's going to stay like that. Just like that. There. One in. I was going to sneeze then. It's always the same. With a couple of days after TV, I end up with a really like weird um, voice, and end up with like a really um, not snotty nose, like a tickly nose. I think it's the dust in the studio. from all the cameras and the lights and stuff. Because the lights just make me know it's up anyway. So there we go, that's going to sit in there like so. I don't think it actually needs anything more, does it? Apart from a bit of doodling, of course. That's like the rules, isn't it? Now, I want my black pen. Oh, there it is. You know the other week I was having trouble with my pens and they just wouldn't, um, they didn't seem to want to flow nicely. But I, since then I have put them into a tub so they're lying down now and you can see they're back to their loveliness. And it's strange isn't it? That all I'd done was change the pot they were in so they were stood up to now lying down again and they're working fine again. There's a little tip for you. Your jelly rolls like to be lying down, not stood up. Mm, I haven't done any squiggles. I have now. Right. Next. Just having a quick look at this. Is there anything else I want to do to it? I might just add a little bit of... I'm looking for... There we go. They look a bit too... Um, 
like just splat it on they need a little bit of depth so all i'm going to do to finish it off if i can find i wanted my gray pencil but my silver one i'll have to do So I don't get any more into I'm just gonna take my little bit of kitchen roll and just lean on it. It's just giving me something. Do the same here. It's always the same two points. So then I'm going to take this one, give them a bit of a cut out. That's what I love about these, they're so easy to cut out with that. And then there. Actually, then I can get my scissors lined up properly. I think the wobbly one for me is the easy one to cut because you don't have to cut straight lines. And that one is just going to sit there, but we're going to bump it up a little bit. So, we're going to have some foam pads or something and grab one. So let's grab that one. It's, it's really simple, this one for me, isn't it? That'll go on top of there like so. On there. On there. Just like that, and then that one will just grab a foam pad and sit. Let's see if I can find my foam pads by on my desk. No. Oh, I know where. Hang on. Oh no. Find my blue tack one. There it is. I remember my phone tape was underneath. Look at the Angelina on that. Uh, my phone tape was underneath my laptop. It's nice and hot. I don't know if it's going to stick anything, but it's nice and hot. Two little blobs of foam tape. What I normally do with my foam tape. Oh, I've got no glue. What do I do with my glue? I don't know where my glue's gone. That's a bit odd, isn't it? I know I was using that on Friday. Oh, hang on. Let's see if Big Bertha will work. I only use this one. Oh, I only normally use this one for filling up the little ones if it's working let's do it let's put it all together shall we and then because i've done that super fast like half an hour to do um half an hour to do the to do a card that's pretty quick for me isn't it oh hi Polly. um no flu today nope sorry Suze. no i was asking are we releasing these on a chanda don't think so don't think so they will be released um, for general sale next month um, individually but not on a Chandra I don't think I don't think so I am going to be popping a couple of um, the sets on at full price at 14 on that website but I don't, know. don't think we'll be taking these on a chanda. I have been asked if I can do some of the other shapes. So watch the space on that. But these are our monthly makes. These are special. That sounds awful, doesn't it? <laughs> these are our monthly makes. Set. I might take the occasional one on a chanda, but. No, at least first few. Right, so I'm just going to stick this one up. It's looking quite nice, isn't it? I'm going to put my glue back upside down so I can film the other one back up. I forgot I put 
put it there. And I always put, I told you before, I? I always put glue on the back of my foam pads just because your foam pads will lose sticky. Where's your glue doesn't? There we go. How is that for super simple? I'm really impressed with myself on that one. I have really held back, apart from a little inky pinky mark. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, I am really impressed with that one. It's really simple, but I do like it. Um, I am thinking I like doing different tones of blue for a bloke. Okay, right. We've got half an hour left, so should we play with something else? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay with the month of May because it is Monday. Yeah. There you go. Noelle agrees with me. They should be kept separate. They shouldn't go on the agenda because they are special. <laughs> you laugh. Oh, I thought you were laughing at me there, Susie. Me doing simple and elegant and beautiful. I know. It's, it's unheard of. Right. I think. Uh, yeah. I don't know how this is going to work. But we're going to wing it now. Not quite sure if this is going to work or not, but we will see. So. ATC coin. A bit inspired by what I know Suze has been working on. Special is always good. I like my specials. I'm just taking that down off the shelf and I don't think we'll get it back on. Right, so that'll do instead. Right, so we've got a lovely ATC coin. I don't know if I've got a back to stamp on that anywhere near me. Nope, don't have to have it back stamped another time. So, I want to start off with Ooh, decision time, decision time. Should we go wobbly bobbly? Go wobbly bobbly, I think. Oh, where's the other one going? I know your sets will be all lovely and neat and tidy and put back right. Mine never are, are they? Hmm, oh, that one. I can't decide. Which one do you think? Do you think wobbly bobbly? Or spiky Mikey. Do you like wobbly wobbly though? Because he's too big to sit. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, he does just fit in, does our wobbly wobbly. Oh, should we go with that one instead then? Let's do wobbly wobbly and he'll fit all the way in. I should have done this and then um, punched it out, shouldn't I? I like to make things interesting. And put that on there. Now, do, 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 do. I'm looking for some embossing powder. I was going to do clear, but that's not on my desk right now. Let me have a quick look in this drawer instead. Got grey. Mm. I've got grey on with black. My stinky, my honky ones. Oh, see, you see, no, I like. I have got the honky ones here. I thought I had some white. Oh, there we go. The honky white. We use honky, honky tonk white. Mine are in the old pots. Hmm. So. Which are a lot smaller than the new ones. Just saying. A lot more fiddly too. So, pop that there. Susie wants honky grey. They have got proper names now. It's just, I've nicknamed them honky. Right, I can put that back in. <laughs> Mine are never the right colour because I've now just mixed it with grey. Delightful. 
that's mine. <laughs> right, so let's get this heated up. I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this, so so isn't it? A um I wonder when I start off, don't I? Ooh, hot, hot, hot. No, oh, I just it. Oh. And that's not the table for. These people that make embossing look really easy. I'm so jealous. Can you get me? That makes it look really hard. <laughs> yeah, let me just turn it around because my fingers are going high or hot. Done. Put that back up there. Right. That's not a tablecloth in the process. <laughs> right. I am thinking here, which is why I keep going. Hmm. Right. So, I want my brush shows. Brush shows are calling. sent a stamp on the floor not quite sure which one it was so what do we think on here should we have a little bit of maybe purple oh you know what we're going to go for it i want a bit of pink and i want a bit of lime green so i've got my alvarian crimson and i've got my lovely lime green see that would make sense wouldn't it for me to actually try and protect my fingers occasionally Suze, but a nice little heat mat and a I have actually got my little acrylic box that I normally heat stuff on right there. Never even dawned on me to pick it up. It's out because I was doing my Angelina fibres the other day. And then I'm going to pop a little bit of Alzerian Crimson on the bottom. And let's give it a quick spritz. Now I want to spritz it from the lime green to the Alzerian Crimson because I want more of my lime green than my crimson. Yeah? And I want it really watery. Look at that. Yes. I don't think I need to do much with this, do I? It's going to just be a big pop of colour. I'm starting to just run a little bit, so I'm just going to just dab it a little. I'm just going to let it do its thing for a minute too while I clean up my desk. I'm thinking a couple of little hearts in the background now. I'm starting to see this now. We want a couple of little hearts in the background. I want it to, I'll use my pokey tool like um, Susie suggested. And there. Oh no. No, no, no. I've just spotted, I've got my dotties on my desk. That'll look nice, won't it? And then, can I see? <laughs> Gonna grab them. No, I'm being naughty. I'm not using all of my um, monthly make set, but I've got my lovely little critter. Um, I can't remember what, which one this one is, what he's called. I'm sure he's got a name though. Um, so I'm thinking my little critter, a few little dotties on this side. Yeah, you see where I'm going now. And then I'm sure we'll be able to squeeze one of our lovely little words in there as well, just to finish it off. So we've got a lovely little hexagon going on. Oh no, no, I'm going to cheat. I'm not going to use my dotties. I'm going to use my hex skin because I think that'll look just as nice. If not nice. It kind of fits in with the theme, doesn't it? I bet Bertie would look quite nice on this one, but I don't know where he is. Right. Let's grab him. Do you think... 
you think we stamp in our green first? I've been using the lime green stamp. I'm trying to decide, am I going to stamp it with my brush out or am I going to um, do a good girl this time? I'm getting my heat gun just to dry a little bit. Let's see, there we go. Won't mark my, not my um, favourite box as much. I'm just trying to blast it a bit dry. I've got to be careful because I've already done the um, embossing powder so I don't have to overset them. There we go. Don't take much at all to do it. Take that off because I know it'll probably be blinding you. Put that down there. Right, a little bit of lime green. I'm on a roll now. I know what I want to do now. It's whether I'm going to be able to fit it all in this little one. <laughs> That's the challenge. You can tell when the, the idea suddenly starts to not enough there. I need a bit more green, so give it a quick shake. I need more of the colour than the, uh... there we go. What you find with your brush sometimes, if you're only getting one colour coming out like then, mine was really yellow, yeah? And that's because your pigments, your powder in there, your, your crystal bits, your, um, what do you call it? It's, yeah, your colour pigments um, will just, they kind of shake so the heavier ones drop to the bottom, the lighter ones come to the top. So things like your yellows and stuff pop to the top because they're a nice light pigment. As in, weight wise, not colour wise. And the other ones drop to the bottom. So things like your gambo is just the same. Make sure you always give that a bit of a shake every now and again if you're not getting quite what you want coming through. There we go. Hee <laughs> Liking that now. Right. I'm going to just leave that to one side for a second because I want to stamp this fella. This could be anything. This could be a die cut, a little flower, one of your little um, trinket bees that we got. Well, those are a little bit smaller than this. This guy. Oh, black. There it is. So I'm just throwing my stamps around my desk now. Right whiff of vanilla. Oh, honky powders. Making me hungry though. Surprised me to me it's not started grumbling. Oh, Dennis. That's his name, Dennis. I knew it'd come back to me at some point. Dennis is going to be turned into Denise because we're going to colour him pink. So I'm going to grab a little bit of my green again. I could have used what was on my table a minute ago, but you know, that would have been thinking ahead. And we all know I'm not very good at doing that. I'm going to grab my paintbrush. I'm going to go for my original one. And again, like I do with my um, oxides, yeah, take your water to your brush -o then you, you've got full control, you can see there how concentrated I've got that to try and get a little bit more of my green just on there and then I'm going to actually cheat, where's my cloth gone? There it is. So I'm going to pull this bit out, you see where it's really watery yellow? I'm just going to pull that away from Dennis's body. I'm going to put the pink on, so I'm going to go real deep pink here, so paler pink towards the body. Yeah, yeah there's a couple of texture stamps that are my favourites, and that hexagon is just well, it is an amazing little texture stamp. I wasn't expecting it to be quite well, I knew it was going to be useful, but not quite as useful it's turning out to be. I'm wanting to pull it into all sorts of projects. Especially with like the gnomes and things. I think that'd look quite nice. I'm 
There we go. One, one pair of wings has worked out a little bit better than the other. And you can see, can you see you get that little hint of like the deep blue coming through as well. So where it's really concentrated up here, if I pick that up, I think it's actually um, one of the violet crystals or the ost blue that's coming out. I've not had a good brush out um, live in a while, have we? There we go, look at that. Jobs are good and I'm quite pleased. Whee! You need some like um, spark off his eyes or something. Oh wow. I think I need another cloth. Looks like I've murdered somebody in here. Right. I think I've got it all this time. If we suddenly turn pink again, we know why. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a little Dennis, he's going to sit to one side and then, <coughs> oh excuse me, actually he's not, he's going to get, um, I'm just going to butt him a little bit so that I can see how much space I've got. It doesn't really matter because he can hang off, can't he? To be fair, this is quite delicate isn't it for me this afternoon? Not, not grunged it up too much just yet. So now I'm looking at my words. I've got what words come with our sets. And I think they're all going to be a little bit too big just if I want to keep our Dennis on there as well. Ideally I need one that kind of sits along that line. I don't think my strong will do it. I wonder if strong does it. It would be easier if my stamps weren't all um ha there we go. We could put strong across the bottom like that and then have Dennis. There we go. Right. So I'm quite liking this one now. It's all it's all starting to come together. Let's grab me strong. And then of course we need to go in the background and do some doodling. Because that's like the rules, isn't it? We've got to. I've got me strong. I'm gonna do it across on here. Can you hear that rain? It's just suddenly started. That right wobble then, didn't I? Oops. Is that strong? Where's my cloth gone? There we go, right. And I'm going to put UR on there as well. Because I think it'll look quite nice. I'm going to start off with you. I'm not going to try and be clever and line them up because, well, that's just not going to work. Not for me today. <laughs> I'm going to pop you on first. You, and then I'm going to put R. So to be fair, this one's not a bad one for lining up because the top of it is quite um, level. You are strong. Then to finish it off, I am going to grab my little doodle pen. There we go. Well, my not so little one, I'm using a bold one because I think that'll look quite nice. I'm just going to come in on these ones and anywhere else. I think it needs a little bit of helping hand. I'm not interfering at all with my words. I'm going to just pop a little bit up the edges. Probably should have gone to a smaller pen for that, but never mind. There we go. I don't think it needs more than that, does it? 
and then all I'm going to do is just quickly cut out my little Dennis. Now here's another one, you know like on the leaves, always cut out the um, stem, stalk, stem first. Always cut out his tail first, because otherwise you end up trying to cut something up really fiddly and fine with nothing to hold on to. Yes, yeah, so the, the fonts are really important to me. When I'm choosing a font, I have to see how it's going to... It's weird. I like a really strong font with a really um, delicate font. And I think fonts do a lot of the talking on your sentiments. They are they're really important to me, the fonts that I use. Which is why I only use one or two, because, well, they are special. And they are all licensed as well, so the um, whenever I use a font or something, I do go and get the licenses to use it commercially. Because that's important too. <laughs> How's the important bit? Right. Now. I'm actually looking at this and going, I think I actually want a little bit of... Um, that's going to come and sit on here. So delicate for me. So delicate. So, so delicate. Quite cute. cute. He's a little bit wet, is our um, Dennis at the moment. So I'm not going to. She says, and then she carries on going anyway. Because it worked. I didn't think that was going to work quite as much as it did. Um, I'm actually thinking. I want these little hexagons to pop a little bit, so I'm going to take a bit of a risk here. This is either going to work or it's not. So have a good look at it now, because if it doesn't work, you'll never see it again, right? So looks really good, doesn't it? Really nice. Right, let's see if this messes it up or not. I'm going to grab my glossy accents. Mm, let me just check it's working. Nope. moment of truth because when I have my glossy accents it's going to reactivate my brush out but ooh, 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 ooh. come on pin you can get, you can do it someone told me a trick actually you know when you finish with your glossy accents and your glue and stuff you have to bang it on the table so anything that's in your nozzle um, falls down I've tried it it doesn't work but then I speak to other people and they say it works for them so must be how hard you hit the table with your glossy accents. <laughs> or glue. I think it's glue we were talking about at the time. So I'm just going to come in and colour in my... Oh, there wasn't one there. It's an imaginary one there. and colour that bit in. Do that bit first so I'm not working on top of myself again. Just a little bit there. And it's sometimes nice, you know if you've not quite stamped it very um, prominent, you haven't got a real, see that does look better doesn't it? I do prefer it with the glossy accents on. So I'm going to leave that to dry, I think. Um, so what was I saying? Sometimes, you know, if you've got a background and it's not, the colour you've used isn't quite making it stand out as much as you want it to. If you go in, especially with something like the hexagons, go and put a little bit of glossy accents in. And it's not the colour that's going to jump to the front, it's more of the different texture that's going to make it jump to the front. So I'll do that quite a lot. So I'm just going to shape his wings a little. He is very wet though, unfortunately. And then he will just come and sit. To be fair, I'm going to glue him on at the same time. Because I might as well. Because my glossy accents is uh, working. I'm going to grab some glue on his belly. And then I'm going to turn this around so it can... You are. And he's going to go right into that bit of there. Just like that. And maybe have a bit of a twizzle on you because you're just covering 
definitely are. And should we give me for my eyeballs? Because I've got my glossy accents out now, I'm on a roll with them. And they're working, they go for the eyeballs. There we go. I think that works quite quite well. And your brush -o will reactivate under here. You can see it's just starting to. So the yellow starting to come out a little bit more and the pink here. So it will look different to your background. But I think it's gonna jump just enough. Right? So there you have it, you've got a sneaky um ATC coin out of me as well today. <laughs> There's my card one. I'm very, very delicate for me actually today. Very delicate. Oh, I'm just trying to step me in because so like I've got a bit of space on my desk. So, there we go. We have got, ooh, throwing things at myself again. Our two lovely little pieces from today. All I've used, the only extra bit I've used is Dennis. We've got a bit of extra Dennis the dragonfly in there. But that could be anything, it could be a flower. It could be anything on that one. But I do love how it's turned out actually. And there it is. <gasps> but that would look cool, wouldn't it? You know if I'd have done Ooh, that's something to play with, creating another shape within it. Hmm. I'm not gonna leave it there though, because my brush will see through. But there you go, we've got a lovely little ATC coin. So much fun. You can get so much onto them. Look lovely at the top around. It would. It would really look lovely. A bit of a brush -o background and then plunk that on the top. Maybe a little um because that's two and a half inch, correct me if I'm wrong, Susie. I think it's two. Two and a half inch, yeah. And um, so a slightly bigger mat behind it. Or punch it. Oh, I'll tell you what always looks nice. Oh, you've got me off again. Hang on a second. Oh, I've got a bit of a black card there. Not quite what I was looking for. I'm not going to chop that up. But no. What does look nice? You know, if you've got your ATC coins and they're just too nice to give, um, to put into a swap because I've done that a few times. If you cut another one out in black, kind of see if I've got a like an A6 card or something somewhere close, but I haven't. And then cut out another one exactly the same size, and then just kind of do that with it. It does look really effective at the top of my card. It doesn't have to be black, but you know what I mean. Any type of, any colour. There you go. Right, I'm going to stop rabbiting now. Thank you all for joining me. Um, we are back on, what day is it? Monday. We're back on Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. Um, I'm not sure what we're playing with, but we'll play with something because that'll be fun. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. Um, so yeah, we're back on Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. Um, we'll have something to play with, I'm sure. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed them too. They are really different for me, really simple, apart from the Inky Pinky Mark. Um, but really elegant, I think. I think they turned out really well. I am pleased with them. <laughs> it's not like me to do so subtle, but it works. Yay! Um, so yeah, anyway back on Wednesday night at 8 o'clock and hopefully um, by this time tomorrow I will have all those lovely lovely um, orders winging their way to you. Um, so I think that's everything. Take care, stay safe and I will see you all again very soon. Thanks for watching, bye for now. <laughs>